like getting a number of parts to work there, and he's doing some of it on CW. Well, a good bit of it on CW. He says he don't get a lot of stuff, except he does get the call letters and where they're located, and that's what counts. He's working pretty hard on his code, I think, and uh, there's some kind of a... Uh, uh, code training he's taking to their Daryl too. I guess on the internet. That's your four way thing. You have only him to see a picture of that that CW training center when you get it uh on Facebook. Hey, uh, what do you think of that Guys, Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells. It is Tuesday, May 12th, 2020. What you're seeing here is a, my handheld Belfang UV82 radio, ham radio. And right now we have channel 125 on 70 centimeters, 444.450. Picking up a conversation. I have a simple roll up antenna outside, uh, just on the outside of the shack here, um, just hanging off from the gutter. And um, between last night and today, when I had some time, I've been focusing on some channels that were active. And I'm going to start getting on the traffic nets and show you guys uh, what exactly is taking place. Uh, in my neck of the woods at night what they're talking about on the traffic nets and what's out there So this is coming in crystal clear here I'm also going to take the ICOM 718 HF rig out and run it off battery backup uh, on uh, 10 meters and show you guys how that works right out of the van. So that's coming as well. So there you go, guys. This is a simple, this is a simple, fairly simple setup with a, you know, a 50 or $60 radio programmed on Chirp with some local repeaters, uh, a simple antenna. Uh, I took off the antenna that was on the radio, telescoping antenna that I had on there. That's a Hertz, I believe, antenna. And I just substituted the roll-up antenna right here. It has the connector built into it. And that roll-up antenna, I keep in this pack here. So anywhere I go, I have that antenna. I'm able to throw it some rope over a tree or a branch. And I can hoist that. There's even a rock in there. The antenna rolls up and goes in there. And I could take that along with me on my pack or in my pack and be able to get much better reception um, with my radio, especially if I'm using uh, simplex 
I could reach a little bit farther uh, with that roll-up antenna versus the Hertz antenna. He's already got 35 or more plants out. Got so there you go, guys. Just some more ideas on um, some basic. And I'm just listening in right now. I'm not communicating with them. And so if we scan, uh, let's scan and see what else is out there. Let's see if there's anybody else talking. So on this radio, I have 127 channels programmed, I believe it is. You can see the channels there on the right, 55, 56 going up. And then the frequencies, PM Eastern that's um, time. my local weather. These are the 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time So we'll stop there for a second and then continue. So there's several weather stations also there. And see if it comes back around and picks those and, uh, guys up. There they are. So, right now, they're the only ones talking right now that I could pick up. So, I'm going to listen to them for a while, come back tonight when the uh, traffic nets start, and get you guys uh, another video. So, there you go, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Again, questions or comments I'm showing here. Some simple ways of receiving information. And with a, the better your antenna, the better chance you're going to get to get out there and listen. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay ready. Anthony signing off.